This can be your makeup to go out and uh, pretend that you're younger than you are and have some sweet young lovin'. No, I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Oh, are we kidding? That's going in the video. Fuck it. What's up, Hans family, and welcome to my channel, obviously, to this new tutorial. I know that I have been doing beauty, 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 beauty. I said so many beauties, there's only been like two, and one of them was drunk. Anyways, this is going to be on this very soft, fresh-faced look for when you don't want to go crazy. You just want to look young and soft and angelic. And I'm using so many adjectives to explain this when it's pretty simple. No false lashes, no liner, which makes me feel like a naked ass hoe. But that's all good. All product details will be listed down below as usual. Also, right now I am in Colorado on a ski trip. So please check my Snapchat to see all my fun shenanigans that are going on. I'm probably drunkenly falling down a hill as we speak. So, you want to have a fresh face. I don't know, I guess this tutorial is just gonna be like, how to look fresh and plump in a good way. I need some coffee before I start, obviously. So, if you wanna start any fresh face look, you want to have super moisturized skin, cause we're going to really play up the skin in this tutorial and try to have the nicest, softest looking skin in the world. Maybe not the whole world, but you get the idea. And you'll want to use some very hydrating primers. So I'm gonna mix a couple. I'm gonna mix the Smashbox Primer Oil, because it's an oil for God's sakes, of course it's gonna be moisturizing, and the Hydrating Laura Mercier Primer. So I'm mixing the two together all nice and deep like on my hand. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks. Who's that? Daniel got me a Red Bull! I got beer. You want one? Yes. Okay, so now that your face is all primed, I'm gonna let that set in for just a second. I also love to prep my skin with this Urban Decay uh, prep spray. It's all vitamin infused and shit, so it must be real nice for your skin. Thanks. This is much better than a Red Bull and, well, I don't know if I like beer or coffee better. Probably coffee. But I would be very sad without beer. So now that I'm letting this dry for a second, it doesn't have to dry for too long, I am going to grab my concealer. You can see I'm grabbing everything out of this little pouch right now because I am currently actually packed to go on my little Colorado ski trip. I'm gonna grab my NARS concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. You guys have seen me use it 100,000 quadrillion times. I love it so, so, so much. Since this is a fresh face look, we don't want to have the skin cakey with makeup. So really all we're going to do is brighten up around the face and spot conceal. I mean, I, I just added a lot there, but um, you can add a little less than that because I, I want a little ham. You guys can see I have a lot of acne scarring, so I do like to cover that as much as possible. We're going to go in with a little bit more of that spray, whatever the fuck it, wherever it is. Here it is. And I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender because they do sheer out foundation quite a bit. I like to start under my eyes and then just bounce that shit around. And while you're doing this, if your face kind of starts to get a little more dry, just spray that shit again. The added moisture does help to just really blend this in and help the makeup stay nice and refreshed as you are buffing it into your skin. We're now going to set this, but we are going to do so very, very, very soft. In other beauty tutorials, I do it by baking my face a decent chunk, because that does keep your makeup on a long time, but since we're going with fresh makeup, we ain't going to do that shit. I've had this product forever. It's uh, these little meteorite beads. I'll have all of the product shit down below, too. And um, it gives you this very soft, ethereal glow. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and lightly lightly set my makeup all over my face. It almost gives you just like an inner glow, not so much a porcelain ass face or anything, or metal dripping off your dick face. It's just a soft angel glow. Yes. 
you guys can see, it just kind of makes me look like a little slightly dewy, but just like a very natural dewy. Now, after that, I'm going to take a little bit of the Marc Jacobs highlighter. It's like in a deodorant stick, like this. And um, actually, Alex Faction gave it to me because he had a couple extras. But, um, you know, you're welcome to use whatever highlighter you want, whatever works for your skin tone. This, I went with a cream just because powder, when you add so much powder in your face, it can look a little kind of cakey and powdery and unnatural. So cream products kind of are a little more moisturizing to the skin. So I just like to dip my finger into it a little bit. You can use it just like a deodorant stick, but, and I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit. And you don't need a whole lot, just a little to add a little gleam to your face. So you look a little sweaty, but in a cute way. Now that that's all good and done, I'm gonna use the same exact brush that we dusted our face with to contour, cause uh, it's clean. To make your contour look very natural, you usually wanna stick with a more of a cool shade. So I'm sticking with my Makeup Forever Breakup Powder. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit on the edge of the brush. We're gonna keep the contour very soft. I'm even going to be kind of blending it out in a different way than I usually do. Usually I try to stick right under my cheekbone and really get it a nice sharp ass angle as much as I can, but we're not trying to look like we have cheekbones of steel. We just have a little more definition in our face, so we're not potato faces. You can already see, just the tiniest bit of definition, just a little bit. My moon face is now a moon face with some definition. For blush, we as well want to keep it super light and airy. This blush, which is, sorry, is this blinding you? Jesus! It is from Hourglass. It's the ambient lighting blush, and I'm just going to barely touch it. Lightly put it on my cheeks. It just gives the softest little flush. So any blush that you really like, just barely touch it to the apples of your cheeks. We're not going for a jolly ass bitch today. We're going for kissed by the sun. And if you have a hard time finding exactly where apples of your cheeks are, just give yourself a little smile. They're right there. Do you know what time it is? It's time for my least hated, most hated thing. Least hated thing? Fuck, I'd be excited to do these. No. Eyebrows, you can really do them however you want, but I'm going to do them a little more on the light side, a little fluffier, a little wispier. <gasps> I have a pimple right there. What the hell? Where were you? Why the fuck didn't I see you before, dick? Shit. Oh, well, you can get the damn thing off. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? Finally, god damn. And I now have to draw in my tail, but if you want to keep it super light, just do the smallest bit of pencil. Just to fill in any patchiness that you really have. That's mainly what I try to do. Hopefully you can draw yours to match too. That's always my hardest problem. My brows are two different shapes. God damn it. Once you're pretty happy with your brows, just take a brow gel. You could use tinted or clear. I'm gonna use tinted, because I want as much fullness as possible. But if you already have super full brows, something you could do instead of even filling them in is just using clear brow gel, just to kind of tame them into the shape you want them. But uh, I can't do that, so if you can, I'm jealous and fuck you. But not really fuck you, but I am jealous. This part is completely optional if you like this, if not, it's whatever you want to do. But I think freckles really add to a very fresh face. And though this is still adding more makeup onto your face, it looks so cute. I love the look of freckles, so if you like to do them, hell yeah. If not, just skip this. I already have some freckles along my nose, but I like to just take an eyebrow pencil and intensify them just a little bit so they show through a little more. A good way to do this with an eyebrow pencil is just to drop it down where you want it and kind of twist it a little bit, but keep your pressure light because freckles can go from very natural to very fake looking in a fucking second. I had to lift out my lips like that so you knew I was serious. Another tip with freckles is that you want to have some that are really clustered together, 
some that are super far apart, and not all freckles are perfectly round. That is a big mistake I feel like when people make false freckles is that they look very fake because they're just little circles. They aren't kind of different shapes and sizes. You guys already know, intensifying this bad boy just a little bit. Now we're all false freckled up. For the eyes, we're keeping it super, super soft. I'm taking a little bit of, this is champagne from Anastasia. It's a powder, just a contour powder. And I'm gonna lightly put this all over the eyelid. If you are a little older than me, sometimes shimmers on the eyes do kind of draw attention to any um, wrinkling there may be. So you could just swap this out for a matte tone. After that, I am taking the lightest wash of Anastasia's BTW eyeshadow. This is just a light kind of satiny warm brown. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit on my lid. Pretty much just using the lightest application so that it's more so a wash of the color instead of just bearing down the pigment all over this lid. And you don't need much. I'm barely touching the product. You can also lightly bring it under your eye if you like. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit. I'm gonna move down onto the lips because the lips are super fun. And we're gonna keep them kind of glossy, which is so different for me on this channel. I'm usually a matte lipstick bitch, but uh, I'm really liking gloss now. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever pencil. It is the uh, high precision lip pencil in the color 20. So, I quite like this one, and I'm just gonna pretty much fill in my entire lips. For the lip gloss today, I'm gonna use Buxom's lip... I'm gonna use Buxom's lip gloss. I am so newly obsessed. They give you a tingling, kind of plumping feeling, so uh, I'm all about that life. Woo! These are coral. Okay. My lips look like fuck me lips, is what they look like. And I like it! So now we're gonna finish off the eyes that our lips are all pouty and ready to go. I got me a new eyelash curler. I never curl my eyelashes because I wear false lashes all the time and I'm gonna feel like a naked ass bitch without them in this tutorial, but we gotta do it sometimes. Mine are also pin straight, so I don't know how great this is gonna work. Now I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. It's more so of a lash that you're supposed to like a whoop to roll the length on. We're gonna do just one or two little coats. I don't want any crazy ass spider lashes up in this bitch. Some people hate mascara on their bottom lashes. I feel like mine looks weird without it. So I'm gonna add the little bit here. Kind of hard to do while I'm talking. I'm kind of terrified, and it's okay. And this is the final look. Obviously, I really hope you guys like it. You know, some little fake freckles, some real ones that are in there somewhere, some glossy lips that look like I'm ready to suck a dick. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I will do a body paint very soon. I already have a really fun one all planned out. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.